CNN, five years have passed since Paris Saint-Germain and Manchester City last met in the Champions League, but both teams' quests for European silverware endures. That's despite abundant success in their domestic leagues and the continued backing of wealthy owners, PSGs from Qatar and cities from the United Arab Emirates. The investment into both clubs earned their 2016 meeting the moniker El Cachico, and the sides meet again in Paris on Wednesday in a bid to gain a place in this year's Champions League final. As in 2016, the two clubs continue to boast star-studded lineups, a common theme over the past decade. PSG spent more than $500 million on transfers across the two seasons they signed Maymar and Kylian Mbappé, star players who continue to lead the club's attack, while City has also spent generously when it comes to transfer fees, more than $2.3 billion between 2008, when Abu Dhabi United Group ADUG, bought the club, and 2019. The arrival of these owners has undoubtedly changed both teams' fortunes. City is on course to win a fifth Premier League title under the ownership of ADUG, a private investment company owned by Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, while PSG has won seven of the last eight league titles in France after Qatar Sports Investments purchased the club in 2011. But neither has been able to match that domestic success with European silverware. The Champions League, a competition comprising of teams from across Europe, is considered the pinnacle of club football, and last year's champion Bayern Munich earned 19 million euros $23 million from winning the final alone. It's quite remarkable that we've had now effectively a decade of this kind of investment into PSG and Manchester City and so far, neither of them has won the Champions League. Christian Coates Ulrichsen, fellow for the Middle East at Rice University's Baker Institute, tells CNN Sport. In future we might look back and think, what took them so long? Ulrichsen adds. Whoever wins this match, if they go on to win the Champions League, I think this could be one of those turning points that only becomes fully apparent after the fact. Competing in the Champions League semi-finals for the second time since ADUG's takeover, victory in this year's competition would be a significant landmark for City's owners. Their ambitious project has seen the club become the centerpiece of City Football Group, a global network of associated clubs established by ADUG in 2013, and investment has funded a new academy stadium and training facilities around the Etihad Stadium in East Manchester. You don't need to look far in the Premier League to recognise how the UAE, a small Middle East nation of close to 10 million people, is making its mark on English football. When in the past people would have talked about going to City's main road or to Arsenal's Highbury, it's now going to the Etihad or the Emirates, it's entered the very dictionary of football fans, says Ulrichsen.